clear, did anyone leak any aspects of that Clinton email investigation to you? Uh, no, I have spoken to no current FBI agents. Uh, gosh, in the last eight months, nine months, ten months, certainly not about this. Conversations that I've had have been basically with friends of mine that I work with on mafia cases and Colombian drug dealers and white collar cases. An awful lot of former FBI agents are enormously upset about uh, Comey's decision, you know, back in, what was it, July. They, they disagreed with it. They thought it was a prosecutable case. So I've had lots of conversations with them. And they've, they've told me a lot about the, I guess, the disagreement between the Justice Department on the one hand and the FBI on the other. But it all comes from former FBI agents, and it's all hearsay. And in that particular uh, situation, I was actually talking about the advertising campaign that you were referencing earlier that I knew was going to come as a big surprise. Uh, and there were about four different formulations of it at that point that uh, we had in mind. And I didn't know which one we were going to use, but I knew one was going to be a big surprise. I wasn't referring to uh, any possible uh, you know, information about uh, emails or, or that sort of thing. Because in this letter that has just come out from uh, two Democratic uh, ranking members of, of respective committees, Elijah Cummings and John Conyers, they say, and they refer to an interview you gave this morning. Let me read the first two sentences for the letter. This is a letter to the uh, Inspector General of the U.S. Department of Justice. This morning, Rudy Giuliani, one of Donald Trump's closest and most vocal campaign advisors, appeared on national tele television and confirmed that he had obtained leaked information about the FBI's review of Clinton-related emails several days before FBI Director James Comey sent his letter to Congress last Friday about this matter. In fact, Mr. Giuliani went even further and bragged about the information he had obtained, stating, quote, did I hear about it? You're darn right I heard about it. So they're saying that you confirmed this morning you got this leaked information before the FBI wrote to Congress about the, the new review he well, that, wanted to I mean, undertake. That's not correct. I, I've had no conversations with anyone inside the FBI. Have I, I have heard uh, for the last four months a tremendous amount of uh, information about the consternation within the FBI, the fact that FBI agents were very unhappy with the way they were being treated by the Justice Department. That's all true. But none of it came from any current F I haven't talked to a current FBI agent, as I told you, in the last, gosh, at least eight or ten months. But did you know, Mr. Did you know, Mr. Mayor, that, the, uh, that Comey was about to make this announcement right to Congress about this review? Because I, in I, the interview this morning on Fox and Friends, you seemed to say, did I hear about it? You're darn right I heard about what, it. What were you referring to? Well, I was referring to the consternation within the, the FBI, which, you know, the New York Times has reported on and the Wall Street Journal has reported on. That's what I was referring to. I was referring to the fact that, and, I, and this has been going on for about four months now, this tremendous uh, anger among, and I got it all from former FBI agents, tremendous anger within the FBI about the way, number one, Jim Comey's conclusion, and number two, the way they believed they were being obstructed by what they regard as a pretty corrupt uh, Obama Justice Department, you know, cutting off a grand jury investigation, cutting off subpoenas. I actually didn't get into that detail. I didn't find that out until, uh, until, re until recently. So, so what I hear you say, and, and correct me if I'm wrong, you're now sure. saying you did not know that Comey was going to release this information about a review of the I, uh, Huma Abedin emails found on her estranged husband's computer before he made that official that, report to Congress. That's absolutely correct. But I did know that there was... You had no was information a, about that. had no information about that at all. That came as a complete su surprise to me, except to the extent that maybe it wasn't as much of a surprise to me because I had been hearing for quite some time that there was a lot of, I don't know how you would describe it, maybe revolution is too strong a word, but a lot of debate and anger within the uh, FBI about the way they were being treated by the Justice Department and a lot of FBI agents feeling that the Justice Department had been corrupted, particularly with uh, Loretta Lynch's meeting with President Clinton four days before the interview. Then the report coming out four days later, you couldn't possibly have written that report in four days. It had to have been written before. Uh, and that was over the 4th of July weekend. I've been hearing that all summer and all fall. But as far as 
uh, what uh, Jim Comey actually did. I had I had absolutely no knowledge of that. And so and, and so and you're talking about big surprises before the announcement that were forthcoming. You now say that was the, the advertising blitz that's going to take place yeah, over that, these final few days. That's what you were referring to. Yes, actually, that had uh, several different uh, possibilities at that time. There were a couple of other things that were being considered as uh, what was going to be done in the last four days of, of the campaign. In fact, one of them is still on the table, so I won't even talk about that. But it has nothing to do with the emails. What I was talking about so, was a, a push at the end to try to get uh, try to get Donald Trump's message out above the loud noise that's going on and a lot of the clutter that's going on in, in the campaign. So if the inspector general of the Department of Justice uh, accepts the recommendation, the request from these two members of Congress to go ahead and investigate leaks that are coming forward, not just what, what you may or may not have said, but other leaks that are coming forward, will you cooperate with that inspector general investigation? <laughs> yeah, I don't know anything about leaks from uh, the FBI or the Justice Department. I haven't talked to anybody in the FBI or Justice Department. Are you upset I, about I will leaks not, coming from I, the FBI? You're, you're I a former not, U.S. attorney. I, I will not like uh, the people around uh, Hillary Clinton take the Fifth Amendment or ask for immunity or uh, uh, I have uh, no worry about being incriminated like the people around Hillary Clinton. She seems to be surrounded by, uh, gosh almighty, uh, looks like about eight or ten people have either gotten immunity or taken the Fifth Amendment and... Uh, I mean, it's actually disgraceful that uh, you would be surrounded by so many people doing that. In my case, it's real simple. I've talked to no FBI agent. I've talked to no Justice Department official. I have no idea about who's leaking information. What I do know from former FBI agents is that we have a very angry FBI because they feel that the Justice Department of Barack Obama has been corrupted by the way in which Loretta Lynch handled this case. She recused herself for this case, remember, and now she's reinserted herself into it. Recusal from a case, Wolf, means you take yourself out of it and you turn it over to your subordinate. So she keeps coming into it. She keeps coming out of it. Uh, the FBI tried to get, and this I get from public sources, the, the FBI tried to get a grand jury impaneled and they were stopped by the Justice Department. And I have my own view of these allegations going back six or seven months. I think it is clear that Hillary Clinton All right. committed a multitude of federal crimes that are fairly Very easy. quickly, I want to move. Fairly, I, I, let I me finish move my to sentence. Stuff, Mayor. I know you're here this, but that are fairly easily pros prosecutable. Much easier than cases that I've prosecuted uh, over the years. What do you mean by public sources? Many newspapers. There was an article, right. there, there was an article, uh, several articles, I don't know if it's true, but there were several articles that said that the FBI went right. and tried to get a grand jury impaneled yep. back in February on the Clinton Foundation and was blocked from doing it. But, but uh, let me know. ask you a question, Mayor. If, if you don't know it's true, why are you suggesting it? Why are you going on national television talking about these issues if you don't know it's true? Well, I, I am told this by former FBI agents and these are people that I work with when I was in uh, government, and I find to be credible people. And I think their, their, their conversations all corroborating each other must be maybe, you know, at least a handful of them uh, corroborating each other about the consternation within the FBI. Uh, it seemed to me that that was probably true. Also, it's my own a analysis. Couple of, a, a couple of follow-ups on this. I want to move on to some other stuff, but very sure. quickly. Uh, did you get the information from former FBI officials or from the public record from newspapers? Uh, because there is a difference, and, and you appreciate, as a former U.S. attorney, yes. the difference. Even if former FBI agents are providing sensitive, confidential information, they have a responsibility for the rest of their lives not to do so, right? Uh, no, not not really. When, and when the information they were providing. When they leave office, don't they sign? Don't they sign documents saying they won't well, release uh, secret information, if well, you will? They didn't give me any secret information. They just told me there was a big revolt going on. But they're giving on. you confidential information from inside an investigation. They're telling me that there was a, a lot of a lot of consternation and a lot of anger about the uh, conclusion that Jim Comey reached, which I could understand because I had that same consternation. And uh, and a disappointment in the uh, conclusion that they uh, that they reached. They didn't give me any facts. No, I had no facts, no information, no particular information other than 
that there was a big dispute